defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, we are back here again for another opening. So this is going to be uh, opening two of three. So um, we kind of dotted a little bit on Toon Chaos. Couldn't pull a collector rare, but we we're going to pull some guaranteed video game promos. Ha, guaranteed. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> yeah check out i mean i'm sure if you if you watch me you definitely watch Ruxin. so but check out that dds uh box opening of his if you have magically missed it and then hopefully we can pull at least one rare out of these three tournament packs and then this pack is actually out of my 36 pack box but it's coming in um heavier so maybe i have a magical 11th hollow so without further ado we're going to open the video game first and then uh We'll kind of probably go tournament pack seven, six, and then one, because one is my favorite, and then we'll end with the mysterious Pharaoh Servant. So I've never opened uh, this game besides, uh, I've never opened a Game Boy Advance game besides Eternal Duel Soul, probably when I was in like third grade. And so I beat the uh, absolute crap out of uh, mm -hmm. Skull Dice and, and Graceful Dice in exchange. So. <laughs> It does look like we have a aluminum foil pack in here, so <laughs> that's a good sign. We're, ahead, a good sign. we're ahead of Ruxin already, <laughs> and, and uh, opening um, with the Pop Tart pack, as he calls it. Yep. So hopefully, uh, I do not have. I have a negate attack, and I don't re re or Yoku. I don't even know how to pronounce the the, <laughs> the uh, magic card. I do not have a PSA ten perfectly ultimate great moth though. So if any are in PSA ten condition, I would like for it to be that one. I do have most video game promos in um, PSA 10, so this would be one step closer. It, and as you guys see here, maybe if I ever get it out of the pack. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta rip it all the way yeah, down. Yeah. Just straight up open it all the way. Yeah. Rip open the pop Banana tart. style. Maybe. There we go. These backs are like blinding. <laughs> like They're crispy. And glossy. Glossy, so video game promos are notoriously easy to grade um, straight out. So there we have it. I'm gonna say that's pretty well centered. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Got maybe a little white nick there, and then yeah, I don't know what. How do you think you pronounce that? Ryoku. Ryoku. I yeah. don't know. That's what I always. We should said, have, but... have an episode of just pronouncing cards we don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> And then the gate attack, which looks like it might have a little soft corner up there, and then maybe be off a little left or right. Those look sick, though. Yeah, the yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorite um, trap cards. So we'll get those sleeved up. So we're guaranteed three hollows in this video, and we have wow. obtained them. It's a good start. Yeah, we're batting a thousand. It's a good start. What else you get in here? Oh, oh, we actually get the game. I might have to play that. Okay, this is that. There we go. Yeah. That's beautiful. This, this is the one I had, I think. Now that I see this cartridge, I can never remember. Definitely the one I had. And then they have, you know, they're really, really promoting the God cards there, but. But they're uh, putting, a, <laughs> yeah, putting, putting in a great moth. Yeah. So, yeah, I might have, to, might have to play that on the old Game Boy Advance. Okay, so we are done with that. And now we're gonna start with Tournament Pack 7. So I'm not sure. If there's rares, probably not going to be. And if you guys are unfamiliar with these old tournament pack packs, um, if I can get it there in the light, um, four rare cards, one in every three packs, four supers, one in 18, and one ultra, one in every 108 packs. I've never pulled an ultra out of any tournament pack. And uh, I pulled just a couple supers. Uh, have you pulled you pulled uh, Luminous? Yeah, Luminous is the only one yeah, I pulled. The worst one. The but, worst one, but so, it is an ultra. So if there is going to be a rare, so these Oh, that print line. Yeah, they got print lines on the back there. You wow. guys. So if there is going to be a rare, it's going to be there on the front. So I moved it to the back. What are even the rares in this set? Um, I think Breaker is one. Oh, yeah. No, that's a, no, that's a super. Chaos. Chaos Magician. Yes, yes. Magician and Chaos yeah. or Chaos Command Magician. Yeah. So we have Millennium Golem. Oh, that's cool. Skilled Dark Magician. And last will, <laughs> so no rare. So uh, these cards aren't worth a whole lot, but um, still, what, they've probably been, probably released in about 2006, five, four, I don't know. I'm trying to think, I think, two, I think CP, 
One was like 2006 or seven, so this would have been two sets before that, so it's probably around five or six, yeah. Yeah, these yeah, probably finished up before Champion Pack got released. Yeah. They probably released about two or three every uh, year, so yeah, probably, probably maybe even 2004. Okay, so we have Tournament Pack six. That's worth a little bit because of Go format. Yeah, Dark Ball Turn, off-centered. These the vanillas in tournament pack cannot be beat. Arch <laughs> Marmon of Nefarious. Yeah, eating that freaking uh, green acorn. That's hilarious. And no uh, sleeping line, but another really cool vanilla. So um, I got these packs for super cheap, so not really too good. I mean, even if I pulled a rare, uh, some of these commons are just as cool as the rares are, in my opinion. And definitely did not expect to pull a hollow, so. And just really, really super mechanical nostalgic. chaser out of this. Yeah, if I call it, I, I keep it. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> if that is the case, <laughs> I would. I don't know what I'd do. You give it to me. He's a man of his word. I do have one at PSA right now, though. So, yeah, Ooh, we got a nice <laughs> scratch on the back of that one. Oh, yeah, okay. There's your mechanical chaser, blue medicine, shining. I would love <laughs> a blue medicine. That's yeah. the only I have 29 of 30. In PSA 10, Blue Medicine is the last one I need. Shining Friendship. Oh, so it oh, was, it's in the middle. Yeah, it's a rare though. It that's... is a rare, so that's a good one, and it's centered. So okay, I, I mean this is uh, probably you know at least a hundred bucks in a PSA 10, but it does have a mark on the back, so it yeah. all is in PSA's hands. On you know that could be the one. Used to they used they allowed you know one defect. <laughs> used to yeah so i mean this thing is very well centered. that's still probably worth like 50 bucks or something near yeah then, right? yeah yeah and then cockroach knight usually sells pretty well in psa 10 but i think this is off centered enough where it would probably not get psa 10 so just go in the binder and the shining friendship it's probably you know 10 bucks they send it in to get graded probably worth to send in get it back in 2044 <laughs> get it back in a few years all right so now we are down to our last pack, the mysterious, somewhat, I mean, look how this was, there's just... It's like a misprint pack. Yeah, it's very off cut, so hard to say. It could have 10 cards. It wasn't that heavy. Um, someone had asked me pack weights, and I just happened to uh, weigh this pack. I was like, that seems heavy compared to the rest. So I guess, here, let's real quick count cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. And we want to move four to the front. Pack trick, pack, pack trick. trick. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big advocate for the pack trick. So I pulled 10 hollows out of this box. This is from my 36 pack box. So if there's a hollow in here, um, icing for sure. So I'm not even gonna merge. <laughs> oh, here, here's, here's episode one of how do, how do we pronounce this name? <laughs> Giro Chin Kugo, Kuwagata. Giro Chin Kuwagata, that's yeah. what I always go with. Okay. Soul of the Forgotten, that's an easy one. Gust, yes, one word. <laughs> nice and easy. Insect barrier. Bite shoes, really off centered. Wow, that is mega OC. <laughs> it's like the pack. That one too. The all seeing white tiger. Okay, we have three cards left. Ground collapse. Ooh. Light of the intervention. I think this is a hollow. It looks dark, but maybe it's not. Nope. Oh. Red moon, baby. <laughs> Red Moon Baby. The Red Moon Baby. Ah, uh, stumped us. All right. That would have been crazy. Well, so could not pull a magical 11th hollow. But hey, that one pretty good though. Yeah, we did get, get a rare. If you're going to get a rare out of any three of those tournament packs, you definitely want out of tournament pack one. Um, released, I think, probably March, April, May timeframe of 2002. So, I mean, these things are very old and these packs sell for about 100. I think it was October. Now that I think about it, I think it wasn't until October because that's the whole wavy debate. Like didn't include TP one because they were so so late. I yeah. think that's I TP think two right. definitely came out in two thousand two, but it, maybe it came out literally like December. A month later. I think okay. was when it was. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, these packs I think sell for about a hundred dollars each now, which is crazy because yeah. I used to buy them for fifteen twenty bucks. So that's gonna do it for this opening. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We did not get a fourth hollow, but we got three really cool prismatic ones and a rare out of a tournament pack, which is never a guarantee. And stay tuned for part three because it's going to be my personal favorite out of the three. So hopefully we can pull a well-centered, very nostalgic hollow. Out of <laughs> I was like, is he going to say it? No, or is it no. <laughs> a hanger. So be on the lookout for that. And as always, thanks for watching.